Japan is the country with the second most Michelin star restaurants in the world, and one of the highest densities of restaurants per capita. So you can imagine how we felt knowing we couldn't go to any of those restaurants during our 14 day quarantine. That's because we're only allowed out of our hotel room for 15 minutes at a time to pick up groceries or take out. Thankfully, it's 2021 and food delivery apps are the go right behind Simone Biles. So come along as I take you on a wonky lopsided tour of Tokyo's gastronomy, quarantine style. Before you judge any of my food choices, please consider the parameters under which my life was operating. One, I couldn't go anywhere that was more than a 15 minute round trip walk from my hotel. Number two, I was limited to places that could deliver to my area. Finally, comfort food is a thing. And when you're stressed, comfort food is comforting. For my first meal, I decided to stay off delivery apps and go to the mecca of fast, quick meals, a kombini, or a convenience store. I did it. I got a salad, egg salad sandwich, and these chocolate puffs for about $11. And it was just what I needed after a 14 hour travel day, except for the salad. It was very bland, pretty much just lotus. For my second meal, I had to go with another Japanese classic, KFC. No, really, Kentucky Fried Chicken is very popular here in Japan, and it's an unspoken tradition to eat it for Christmas after a 1970s Kentucky for Christmas marketing campaign in the country seemed to resonate with people. To this day, December 24th is the chain's busiest day of the year in Japan. Wow, oh, it's like a bento box almost. I got two sandwiches and some fries. Don't judge, remember what I said about comfort food being comforting? It's twice as comforting if you order two sandwiches. That's good. Kind of smells a little sweet, the bread. It smells like a donut almost. This cost me $17 with tip. I'm gonna give this one seven out of 10. Up next, I had to try a Japanese burger. Notice the comfort food theme? What I do sometimes is that I'll use the Google Translate app. If you hold it up against it, Teriyaki, oh, teriyaki burger. All right. It's good. I just, I think it might be like vegetarian chicken. I'll give it six out of 10. The meal cost me about $15 with tip, but I don't think I'll be rushing to eat that burger again anytime soon. Now I'm going to toss it to my colleague with NBC Miami, who is also in Tokyo, because when you travel abroad, you just have to have to try the Golden Arches. This is the teriyaki big burger, ebi filet, which ebi means shrimp. And lastly, healthy side, what? Yeah, McDonald's in Japan has this healthy side of edamame and corn. That's good. It definitely tastes like teriyaki, like classic, but um, there's a little mayo in there and lettuce. I'll pretend that's healthy. Mm, oh, this is good. This is my favorite. I, I mean, this one, the teriyaki one was good, but this is unique. There's like some like mayonnaise style sauce. That meal cost Amanda $20. It's good. Tastes like corn and edamame. Here are some of the meals other coworkers had. Sushi and a salad from a convenience store for $10 got rave reviews for decent flavor. This bowl from a Mexican restaurant for $17 was among the healthier fare, but also pricier. This salmon bowl with Brussels sprouts for $20 was also a hit. But I couldn't end my two weeks in quarantine without ordering something uniquely Japanese. It rhymes with my mom's name, Carmen. Rum. That's really, really good. A little cold, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Overall, I would give it, uh, I'll give it an eight out of 10. If it was like piping hot, temperature wise, and a little spicier, it would've been perfect. At $22, it was the most expensive of my quarantine meals, but hands down, the best. 
As good as the food was given the limitations, I couldn't wait until my soft quarantine ended. I didn't care what I ate, I just had two rules. It couldn't be via a food delivery app, and it had to be more than 15 minutes away. All right, now that my quarantine is over, it was only fitting that I spend 20 minutes outside looking for sushi, only to find a place that only does dine-in. I sadly don't have time for that. So my first non-quarantine meal will be Turkish kebab from a food truck. Not bad. That's good. That's spicy. I'll get sushi eventually.